This is the story of a man named Tim, who can go in his past by time traveling, and things can change to improve his future. At the beginning of the film, we see 21-year-old Tim, who lives in a seaside house in England. Tim lives with his father James, he is a retired professor, and his mother, his uncle also live there, and his sister Catherine, he calls her Kit Kat. Tim and family spend life happily and comfortably. Tim's family goes to the beach and enjoy. Every Friday he watches a new movie. Every year a New Year party is celebrated. Tim never enjoys a party. Tim doesn't know how to get along with people. One day Tim's dad wanted to tell him something. Tim would probably be surprised to hear what his father had told him when he was 20. Tim's father tells that the men of this family have a strange ability to hear. That ability is to travel through time and go into the past. In those moments that have already been lived. In this way, his future can be improved. Tim does not believe in this. Then he tells him to go to a dark place and think with fists where he wants to go. Tim laughs at this. Jokingly, he decides to try the ability. And by the time the traveling goes to New Year's night. And it does, he didn't before. He comes back and talks to his father. The father tells your mother does not even know about this. And he said that time traveling has to be done to make his life the best. And to get fame, should not do time travel. Otherwise, you will never be happy in life. Just like his grandfather and his brother, always be lonely. Tim need love in life, and he thinks to use this ability for love. And for that, he gets a chance when Kit Kat's friend Charlotte comes home for two months. Whatever Tim messes with while impressing her, he corrects it by time traveling. Tim was so lost in Charlotte. About time travel was blown out of his mind. Charlotte was on her way back home. Tim stayed until that day to speak his heart out. This thing is told at night. Charlotte said you are late in saying this. You should have told this earlier. Both could spend time with the other. Hearing this, Tim goes to the past one month ago. Tim tells Charlotte that he loves her. Then Charlotte tells him that this should have been told when Charlotte was the last night in his house. Tim understands that Charlotte didn't like him at all. And time travel can never change anyone's mind. That's why Tim forgets his first love. Tim wants to be a lawyer. So prepare to go to London. In London. Tim lives with his father's friend Harry. Harry is a drama writer, and he is angry all the time. He tells to Tim angrily. He has a good idea in his mind, but because of Tim's arrival, the idea disappeared. Tim was happy with the job. There was no less of girls around him, but his colleague was written in his fate. One night he goes to a restaurant with his friend Jay. Their miracles happen. There is a blind dating game happening, where Tim meets Mary in the dark, and flirts with Mary. Whoever comes out sees the other for the first time. Mary gives him her number. Both start liking each other. Happily, Tim goes back home. Sees Harry at home. He is sad now. Today was the opening of his new drama. Everyone liked his play but one actor forgot his take and everything was ruined. Seeing Harry's grief, Tim thinks to help him. Tim goes to Harry's after traveling time. Goes to the actor who forgot the line. The Tim tells him that the dialogue should have been remembered. But in the end he comes to know that the actor who forgot the dialogue was someone else. And again he travels time. He helps the actor. Hari's play is successful because of Tim. Tim goes to the same restaurant to call Mary. Then Tim understands that. As he time travels time to help Harry. He never gets to Mary that evening. Harry was happy. But Tim was sad. Thinking about Mary. Then he remembers that Mary liked one model very much. So he goes to an exhibition of the model. After waiting for a long time. More people come there. Catherine also comes there to support Tim. After a while, Tim sees Mary. But when Tim goes to talk to her, Murray doesn't recognize Tim. Tim terrified. He comes back to Catherine and tries again. Eventually, Mary agrees to spend time with him. After spending time with Mary and her friend, Tim came to know that Mary has a boyfriend. His name is Rupert. Tim can't believe it. After Tim asked them more, and he goes to the same party where Mary met Rupert, Tim prepares to arrive before Rupert. Tim reaches the party at the right time. Seeing Mary alone, Tim goes to talk to her and takes her out of the party. They both spend a lot of time with each other. And slowly, Mary starts liking him. Mary also wants to spend more time with Tim. And that is why she asks him to walk with her till home. After this Tim and Mary start loving each other. And their relationship starts. They started living together. And after a few days the parents come to meet them. Mary hasn't told him yet that Tim and she live in the same house together. They only knows that Tim is her boyfriend. After talking to Tim, both of them like Tim. One night Tim is seen by Charlotte, and he goes to meet her. Charlotte introduces Tim to her friend, whom she calls her girlfriend. Tim thinks that both of them are lesbians, but there is nothing like that. He spoils things so much, goes to the past and decides that he will not meet Charlotte at all. But Charlotte sees him while going out. 
They both start talking to each other. She takes Tim out to dinner and tells him that she likes Tim and she shouldn't have rejected Tim. She asks him to come to her house and calls inside. Tim refuses to come in and then he understands how much he loves Mary. After going home, he wakes up Mary and propose and Mary agrees to get married. Tim takes her to meet his family. She became close easily with Tim's mother. He has also met Catherine at home. She is going to leave London and live there forever. That night, Tim tells that Mary is pregnant and they are going to get married soon. On the day of the wedding, Mary decides to play Tim and his father's favorite song and they get married amid a storm. For the best man whom Tim asked to give a speech, those people all started giving bad speeches. And in the end, Tim time travels and asks his father to give a speech. He is not happy with his speech. That's why he gives a speech better than before by time travel. Tim learns that Catherine is heartbroken for being betrayed. The Tim can't do anything about it. A daughter was born to Tim and Mary. Her name is Vosie. Tim and Mary shift to the new house. And now Tim doesn't need to try time traveling. Things start to change on Vosie's first birthday. Everyone comes except Catherine. They get the news that Catherine has met with an accident. After a fight with her ex-boyfriend, she drunk and got out of the car in anger and met with an accident. So she couldn't come home. Tim can't bear to see her in pain after seeing Catherine in the hospital. And goes to the past and saves Catherine at the right time. Tim and Mary think of ways to improve her life. To help her out, Tim reveals the truth of time travel. And takes Catherine to the night of the new year. He stops Catherine from meeting some guy. Because of that boy, Catherine's life is going to be ruined. Tim goes back and asks Catherine to stay with his friend Jay. When he returns home in happiness, in the present he comes to know that due to time travel the son has taken the daughter's place. To Tim, he is an unknown child. Tim talks to his dad about it. The father tells him that going before the birth of the child will not be able to produce a girl child. And a girl was replaced by a boy because he traveled back in time and went back in time where her child was never born. And Tim reluctantly makes a difficult decision and goes into the past, allowing Catherine to have an accident again, so that he can get his daughter back. Tim had spent a lot of time with her. Tim and Mary insist that Catherine forget the boyfriend. Forget him and move your life forward with Jay. Catherine agrees to this. Time passes. Tim and Mary have another child. After some time they came to know that James had cancer. Tim wants to go to the past and change this thing. But James says that what is there is never changed. James tells that there is another secret that is very important. Only by doing this, Tim will be happy with his ability and be able to live a better life. He has to live life in two parts every day. In the first part of the day, normal people will have to spend like normal people without time traveling and worry and work will have to go together. And after spending the whole day in the second part, you will have to spend the same day again by time traveling at night. But this time on that day that beauty has to be seen, which was not seen for the first time. Tim does just that and lives each day happily ever after, enjoying the beauty of the surrounding. And one day the news came that James had passed away. Tim travels in time to meet his father for the last time before the funeral. They both spend time with each other. The Tim goes back, but whenever he wants his father, Tim going to the past to spend time with his father. But one day Mary tells him that she wants another child. Tim had a difficult decision, because if they have a child, they will not be able to go to the time of birth before the time of meeting the father so they can change the future of the child. But Tim can never break Mary's heart, so Tim agrees to marry. Tim visits his father for the last time before having a baby and tells them this is their last meeting. James takes Tim with him, and they both travel time to relive their memories. It goes back to Tim's childhood, and for the last time they spend the whole day with each other. Now Tim starts living his life in the present. He starts spending time with his family. Catherine now moves in with Jay and their baby, and Tim learns a very important lesson because of time traveling. He has stopped time travel, and he lives every day just like another piece of his father's secret, where he starts looking for things of happiness every normal day. And being happy like this, he starts making his normal life special. He has understood that everyone should give their best to life every day. Life should not be spent, it should be lived. This movie ends here. Make sure subscribe and turn on notification so you can watch more video like this. Thanks for watching.